Hey, my name is Nick Green, Hollywood on Trail. Sleep. There's nothing you deserve more than a good night's sleep after a hard day on trail. Hiker Midnight is 9 p.m. So by 9.01, I want to be asleep. And as impractical as that sometimes is on trail, comfortable gear can get you as close to that goal as possible. For the past five years or so, I've been using almost exclusively Nemo gear. I love it, I'm a huge advocate. So today, to start the reviews of said Nemo gear, I'm gonna begin with one of my favorite items, my Nemo Tensor Insulated Sleeping Pad. There are a couple of different forms and sizes that the Tensor Pad comes in. I have the insulated regular wide Nemo Tensor Pad. The specs on this particular pad are 72 inches long by 25 inches wide and three inches thick. The packed weight is around one pound six ounces and the minimum weight is around one pound three ounces. And that would be without the carrying case, the repair kit, things like that. Our value, which is the insulation value, is 4.2, which is pretty decent, and it will cost you around $200. However, Nemo is an awesome brand that has a great customer service policy. I've literally hiked my sleeping pads into the ground. So inevitably over the years, there have been some issues with it. They've replaced my pad completely with very few questions asked twice. There are a few other specs that I don't really understand like, this is 100% PCR, polyester, blue design certified, stuff like that, that I don't really care about and you probably don't either. Is it comfortable? Yes. Is it durable? Yeah. Is it quiet? Yup. And that's pretty much all I care about. We don't really have to overthink it. It comes with this uh, super lightweight carrying case here that is actually rather durable as well. And also comes with a, a pump sack so you don't have to lose your breath before you go to sleep. Uh, this thing's really easy to use and I'll show you how it works in a second. It also comes with a little repair kit that I've actually never had to use, luckily, but uh, it is there in case you need it. It rolls out uh, rather nicely. The pump sack attaches to the second layer here like this and once you have the second layer uh, completely pushed in, no air can get out. You could give it a couple of breaths from far away, like that, and then just roll it in. I usually blow it up all the way. I think that's what's most comfortable. Uh, some people let a little air out. Nemo might even say to let some air out but I find it most comfortable to blow it up all the way. Not overblow it, but until you feel it's more or less full. It usually takes me about five or so pumps like that to get it completely filled up. Then you just close the secure hatch like that, and there you go. This is the regular wide pad and uh, plenty of room. I like it just a little bit uh, bigger for me. It doesn't need to be this big, but I wanna be as comfortable as possible. I'm typically a a side or a stomach sleeper like that. And uh, I find this really comfortable for those styles of sleep. It's also not a very loud pad. Like listen. <laughs> Which some pads out there are extremely loud and you don't realize how big of a consideration that, I don't know how to sit right now. You don't realize how big of a consideration that is until you sleep next to somebody with a loud pad and it's, uh, it's a lot. And then deflating it is super simple too. You just pop this latch right here and all the air comes pouring out. It's actually a really sad moment in the morning. It's like the last thing you want to do is let the air out of your pad. But alas, the day must begin and you must be going. Everybody has their own way of rolling it up. I typically turn it over like this on its back, actually on its front. <laughs> Roll it once, this, get all the air out, and then roll it again.
getting all the air out. And then simply just fold it up. Give it a nice roll. Try to keep it as tight as possible. Remember the smaller you pack it, the more you can fit in your bag. Then it fits in your little uh, carrying case here pretty easily. It's a big enough bag where it's not hard to put it in. Some bags, you know, you have really have to stuff in it. This one uh, is not one of those. Then wrap up my pump sack here. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there are certainly lighter pads and cheaper pads, but this specific one's uh, comfort level and durability and Nemo's amazing customer service all wrapped up allows me to say that this is my favorite sleeping pad out there. So leave a comment, let me know if you have any questions or which pad or mat is your favorite, or maybe you don't use any of that and you just sleep right on the ground on the rocks because you're old school like that. Either way, just remember, if you can't carry it in your pack or in your soul, you don't need it.